strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Hey there, everybody. It is Bulldog here, and I've got a video I definitely did not expect to be making a couple weeks ago. So those of you who have been watching my live streams, which by the way, my live streams are no longer done on this channel because I'm streaming to Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube all at the same time. I have created a new YouTube channel to live stream from. So if anybody's been missing out on my live streams, that might be why. Make sure you visit those links down below so you can catch me when I stream live. But on my live streams, I have been using Uriel a little bit more. And Uriel was a card that I actually did not like uh, when he first came out, largely because I don't like recharge. So recharge is an ability where you do not attack the first turn, you charge up, and then you deal three times the amount of damage on turn two. And then that repeats, you charge up on turn three, three times the damage on turn four, and, and so forth. And I don't like recharge because so often you, you end up wasting that that attack like for example uriel is a melee attack you charge up you've you're you're ready to do all this damage 12 damage and then you hit one armor or maybe you get a killing blow but you only hit up against three health you didn't need all that damage and it would have been better if you'd spread it out a little bit so i i'm not a fan of recharge but i i tried to use uriel a little bit and it felt like every time i was using uriel i was getting a win so uh, a stream a couple days ago, I just decided, okay, I'm gonna push Uriel to the limit. Is, is he winning battles because it's a low sample size? Am I getting lucky? Is he winning, like, am I winning because of him or is it just in spite of him? So I said, I'm gonna push him to the limit and I'm just gonna spam Uriel. I'm gonna use him every chance I get. And Uriel went and absolutely dominated for me up at Diamond Champion level. He was extremely good. So I, I'm i coming around on Euro, especially as we've got more high mana battles now. They they added higher mana caps, and now you're more likely to see high mana battles. So Uriel's an 11 mana card. It can be a lot easier to fit him in now. So I, I feel like maybe I've been underrating him a little bit. He has been very, very good for me. And now I say in my title here, he's unstoppable. That's being a little dramatic. There's no card in the game that's unstoppable. I'm not necessarily saying Uriel is even, even the best card or, or like if I was ranking my my top few chaos cards, I, I still I still would have some cards above him. But he has been very, very good. And I think he, he might be one of, if not the most underrated card in Splinterland. So let's go take a look at some of these battles from uh, from that stream or for some, from some of my streams so you guys can see Uriel in action here and how well he has actually performed for me. So this here was, was one of my favorite battles. We'll pull a little play fairly quick here. This is against a Llama Cube. And th those of you who have gone up in, this, in these higher leagues against a Llama Cube know how, how Basically, dominating Llama Cube can be at uh, in these Noxious Fumes matchups because you get the the cube stacks up all this health, gets gets this massive heal, and it just become it just wins in fatigue. Even though it can't do any damage, it gets this massive heal and last stand, and it's just so hard to to get through it. But I didn't have Llama for a while. I I finally did buy him, but for for a while I, I was renting him and then he kind of rental prices started to go up and, and they were pretty expensive so I, i've been using uriel in these poison matchups and he's been doing very well at taking out this cube because he'll get uh he'll get this recharge and be able to do a lot of damage at once and then chancius can also be a very good summoner here as well chancius is Whereas we're talking about underrated, Chanceus is a very, very underrated summoner, and a lot of these battles will feature will feature Chanceus here. And he can be good in these Noxious Fumes battles because he has a Resurrect, which brings back a card that will not be poisoned when it comes back. A lot of times I'll try to get like a heal that comes back or or 
so, some sort of whether it's damage here getting dr blight blight to come back in this case we've got hit we've got triage as well so that's keeping dr blight alive so he can stay there and block some of those heals and then you get this massive damage coming in every other turn from uriel and was able to get a win against the dreaded llama cube combo in noxious fumes but i've been using them other places as well i think you actually see one other noxious fume battle but here was uh this was a kitty kitty versus kitty matchup in uh, against a fire fire team and this is kind of more a more typical high mana uh kind of lineup that i've been been using uriel with so i really like shield bear and he could be kind of weak to magic but if i'm not expecting it magic to be played a ton i love dropping shield bearer in there and he can be so so hard to get through and then you've got a big tank up front in uriel you've got uh, shield bearer there with that taunt taking all the all the other damage and just works very very well there you happen to see uriel's hit timed extremely well but one of the, i think one of the reasons that uriel's been so good for me is that yes Yes, we like that big damage. We like that 12 damage hit coming in there. Sometimes you can even get some Inspire with him and get some, get some 15 damage, 18 damage hits. You can get some huge damage numbers. But he's also a very, very good tank uh, as well. So even if you, even if those hits don't time right, you can still get a lot of value out of him. Here was one that I actually didn't expect to, to win when this started. We were playing this one and I thought, I was like, oh, this is this is gonna be trouble because another one problem that you get with the recharge is stuns. Stuns can be a nightmare because it's it's really frustrating when you you're you're all charged up, ready for a big hit, and oh, you're stunned. Now you have to wait two more turns to to attack again. And you see there's a little bit of magic damage on the other side, but not too much. So Shield Bear is able to be a very good tank here. We've got, we've got an Earthquake rule set, so we've got that flying, makes Yurio a very good tank up there, he's a great tank with flying, he's got his own heal, so he can, he can even get, I mean obviously he's got a lot of health and everything, but he can even get some dodges in there with that flying, there's the, there's that dreaded stun, but look at, look at all these resurrects, this is another reason that uh, Shield Bearer can be so good, he's got all that armor, so, all of that, uh, all of that, he takes all of that damage and then he just comes right back and there we go there he finally got a big hit and it took him till round four you had to wait until round four but this team was so good defensively that they were able to withstand withstand four or five rounds even with some decent damage output on the other side and then finally the the big hit from uriel was timed right and he was able to to go get it go get a shot in there and uh, and then from here it was it was easy once we got lord of darkness out that was that was a game changer there so it could have gone wrong if i if he'd gotten a couple more stuns in at the right time but it's a 50 percent sun chance he stunned the the he got the first key stun in round two missed the one in round four so so there that uh, that ended up working out for me so on to another one we've got one versus yoden here and i get not I was talking about high mana battles. This is another poison battle, not necessarily high mana. 30 mana is is kind of mid mana now. I mean, it's, again, you're not gonna really, really use them. I guess I shouldn't say you're not going to use them. I was gonna say you're, you're not gonna use them a ton when it's like a, a sub 20 mana match. But actually on the tournament I was hosting just earlier this week, this that was a silver level tournament. We had somebody who just played Uriel, a lone Uriel by himself and he took out the entire opposing team. So so that actually can be done. That was a pretty cool battle to, to see. But, but again, once again, we've got him cleansed. He's got all that health. He's got a heal. Chanceus is going to provide a repair for him. And then he's just able to out, outlast the other team. He's not doing a he's not getting a ton of big hits in here or anything like that. He's not winning because of that recharge. He's he's more winning because because of his tankiness here. Finally, they got the affliction on him. That kind of hurts uh, a little bit. But by this time it's it's too late. Now he now when he when he needs to kind of kick up some damage, then he's able to to do it a little bit as we as we see right there, 12 damage. And then Dr. Blight's not able to get enough damage in and, and we could get get a win there. So 
That was uh, another win against Yoden, one of the best summoners in the game. Breaking out Chansey as Uriel and uh, just barely getting a win. Just barely, but we got it. And, and again, Chansey's back there was pretty big because he was able to keep Dr. Bite alive with that triage. So it's it's a very nice summoner. And then one more up against uh, up against a Mimosa team. This was a another one I didn't really think I was going to win because I, I didn't bring any sort of I didn't bring any sort of cleanse here. So Uriel's not able to heal himself up. Yeah, he's a nice tank, but I was rely I was expecting to be able to get a double triage over on um, over on our shield bearer up top to help keep him alive. Expecting to be able for Uriel to be able to heal up a little bit. And there, there he, he got a miss. So that was this was reverse speed, which is why why he was able to or why he got dodged there. That's another problem with recharge is when you load everything up into one attack. When, when you get dodged, it's, it can be devastating. But at this point, I wasn't thinking things were going too great, but here again, we're gonna see how valuable Chanceus could be because we got that Resurrect. I talked about it earlier. What happens when you get a Resurrect? You come back without any debuffs. I was talking about it with Poison before, but it applies to the Affliction here from Mimosa. So we re Shield Bear was able to be a decent tank, but he, the problem was he couldn't heal up. Now he's gonna get a, he's got a chance to get one maybe two triages in there and it can help him help him stay alive uh, a little bit longer he's got that return fire that that's nice again he can be weak to to magic damage a little bit but this is just it's just such a tanky team that we again we're not seeing a ton of damage but that right there was a big hit six damage on somebody who has a shield and void that is a massive hit it didn't come until round six we were just kind of, we were just kind of waiting around, playing defensively until he was finally able to, to to get that big hit in. So, even though I even though I don't like recharge, when we've got a team that can be that has this much sustainability, you can you can you can kind of wait around a little bit. And I've been loving this team. I have been absolutely loving Uriel, and we're gonna see him. I'm gonna be using him a lot more. So, uh, again, I still. And we're still at a, a fairly same, fairly short sample size with him, as far as my battles battles go. I haven't been using him heavily for for very long, just about a week. But man, he's growing on me every day. Every day he's growing on me, and I'm absolutely starting to love this card. That I I honestly had had very good. I don't want to say zero interest. I thought he could be a be a niche card because he was such a good tank. That when we had 99 mana or whatever, we could we could still throw him up there. But I've been using him even in the, the mid mana battles and I, I'm absolutely loving him. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. How often do you use Uriel? What are your results when, whenever you use him? I know this is up at this is up at Diamond Champion League and, and a lot of you aren't necessarily quite up there yet. But how is he working for you in the lower leagues in bronze, silver, gold? What's he like down there? I'm curious to hear from you guys and, and see what you think. But this is this is becoming one of my new favorite cards. I am obsessed with Uriel. I think those of you who are watching my streams are getting tired of me spamming Uriel now because I've kind of pushed him. It's gotten to the point where I've pushed him a little bit far. I think my win rate with him is starting to it, it's I, I still think it's over. It's over 500 even when I'm not necessarily using him opt, optimally. But I've, I've been using him very frequently and I'll, I'll back off of him now. He's just kind of my it, it's like my flavor of the week type thing where it's it's a new card that I'm excited about and a new thing I've been been doing so I've been been using him quite a bit that'll drop off as as uh, as I start to to find different strategies and, and other combos I, I like to play more and, and fall in love with a little bit but there are chaos has introduced so many new things and and this is one that, I, that I'm liking so what you got anyway thank you guys so much again follow me follow me on the the links below to to see my live streams because those live streams no longer come to this channel so i've got a new U youtube channel set up from that i'm also on twitch facebook and twitter that i get streamed to so thank you to everybody who's come to those as well i appreciate it i'll be seeing you there